Welcome back to CCRPG. We are opening back up uh, in this knockdown, drag out fight uh, that has been interrupted by another fight. And, uh, well, a claustrosity has appeared. Uh, so that should catch everyone up. Everyone should have perfect information on what's happening with that simple uh, recount here. Yeah. Um, we are going to launch right back into the action as the at the end of our last uh, episode, uh, Steve uh, flew his Tweety Bird into the back of a docked ship, uh, made his way to the front, succeeded on a skill challenge uh, expertly um, to try and reactivate the ship, turning it into a self-guided missile that he was aiming at the claustrosity. Um, we do not know what the outcome of that is yet, but we will find out surely soon enough. But first, we do have a little bit of cleanup to do um, because there are a few members of the opponent team who get to do a little bit more before the scene ends. Uh, firstly, uh, we have two jammed people who are going to activate... Yes. And then end and then activate and then <laughs> end. So that is the infringement and the uh, fraud unjammed. All they have done is moved. So I'll just move them now. Uh, and then the claustrosity gets another action across the claustrosity is going to activate. Uh, it is going to chase after the fleeing Orion and Chimera. Uh, you'll be surprised to find out that uh, the claustrosity uh, is not very tactical. Uh, it just kind of floats towards you with all of its varieties <clears throat> of uh, claws kind of like reaching out before it even gets to you. Uh, but it it's cannot like it reach doesn't you. have a computer. It's almost like something's <laughs> weird about it. That is very true. Yeah. <laughs> um, we are going to start the next round. Uh, at the beginning of round nine, uh, I uh, am going to go ahead and play out what happens with the ship. Uh, Kestrel, I have an offer for you. Uh, if you spend your turn right now at the beginning, I will allow you to get on your mech and off the ship before what's about to happen. I'm hoping there isn't a catch to this. It is. I guess you just I have, have to, to use, use my your turn. activation. That is correct. All right. Well, uh, uh, to be fair, I'm going to ask my teammates, do you guys mind if I activate ah, real go quick? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I yeah, suppose. Okay. Okay. Reluctantly, then I will activate and <laughs> and end my turn. Um, uh, you do get to move your mech up to its speed as part of this. Uh, okay. Um, I'll go. I'll head over towards Comet then. All right. Get next. Get next to Comet here. That'll be. That'll be it then. I guess. Right. Let's Yes, that will be oh. it, because oh. now the thing happens when the ship activates. You all watch as this ship lifts off, tearing away from the moors that held it to the defense platform. You watch as the uh, signal of the Tweety Bird, uh, Kestrel, has escaped from the ship. You watch it just zoom like a bat out of hell out of the back of that ship. And then the large cargo ship slowly turns seems to focus on the approaching claustrosity, and then its afterburners kick in. It slams into the claustrosity, which, coming from the opposite direction, was coming right towards it with such force um, that it, it really is almost like getting hit by a battering ram. The claustrosity, for all of its zero intelligence, does what it is programmed, or not really programmed, what it is imprinted to do 
which is uh, attack anything that's not an ally and tear everything that's close to you apart. You watch as this claustrosity that is slammed into by the ship, all of its arms start ripping into the ship that is slamming into it and start tearing it piece to piece as both the ship and the claustrosity get jettisoned left off of the map. Wow. So um, what you're saying is in five sessions from now that the claw is just going to float through space and going to land in wherever we're at at the time. We don't know what's going to happen to the claustrosity. We just know it's not here anymore. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, and then I am going to. That's not there now. <laughs> no, more, <laughs> no more ship. Um, you watch as uh, it, the claustrosity obviously took some sort of damage um, from getting hit by this thing. But this is a ship ship. This isn't just a mech. This is like a high speed like military transport ship it with its afterburners on with all the safeties turned off because of such of the 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 high scores that uh, steve was able to achieve he was able to take all the safeties off and the ship basically turned into a high speed ballistic missile um and yeah you don't know where it is going there there, there is no way of knowing just where it is going Evelyn, um, o- Evelyn over to comms is going to say, uh, do you reckon that's going to give us some points for the contest? I guess that depends <laughs> on how much they wanted that cargo ship. I think... It was going to get destroyed least, anyway. I, at least we got to give points to Kestrel for improvisation. Bravo. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> at least the platform's still here. Sort of. I thought it was crashing. More or less. Uh, it is It is like canted at a weird angle where different pieces of it are floating in different directions, but some of it exists. <laughs> um, speaking of existing, uh, I am going to activate the fraud now that is furthest away. Uh, it is going to move in. Um, and as it watches uh, the claustrosity uh, get like rocketed off into space, uh, you hear uh, from one of the Russ uh, it is worth knowing that the oxes, the two frauds, never once have come on the radio. But it is the ones in the uh, infringements that are talking. You hear one of them go like almost like he didn't realize that his his outbound radio is working. You just hear him whispering on the radio. Are you? <laughs> Are you even human? Uh, and this fraud is going to first. We are the murder of crows. Uh, yeah, that's it is right. going to warp sensors on Chimera. Get in line. Did you cool down and then get heat again? Me? Oh, no, you're at six. It's just you haven't updated your sheet in the game. I did I not? Oops, sorry. Yeah, I should be a six. Okay, fixed. <clears throat> uh, I was going to consume the lock on uh, sixteen. Yeah, yeah, it hits. All right, you will take two heat. I think that overheats uh, you. It does overheat me. Uh, that is a. Wow, I haven't done this too often. It's a stress, right? There is, yeah, a, is a stress stress hey, or um, an, uh, overheat button. Yeah, and is, is there something yeah. in um just, just press overheat boundary for that, or do I have to do that in? You, um... Yeah, the, there's an overheat <laughs> button on the main ah, page okay. of your Mac. Yeah, token is with. Oh, I actually have to set the seven, huh? Okay, overheat. Fine, I'll set the eight. Roll, see what happens. Energy shunt. Your mech is impaired. Okay. That's not terrible. All right, I will give you impaired. You're impaired and also treat all enemies as having soft cover. Yeah, that that's still a thing. Update your stress. Um see what is impaired again? 
Uh, yeah, it did already it. on. The, oh, right <clears throat> in the tracker. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Uh, and then the fraud is going to activate glitch scanners as it ruins the uh, layout of the battlefield. Um, it is going to move both infringements. Um, Uh, closer to Comet and Kestrel. All right, Chimera, uh, Comet, or Orion. Can I go so I can stabilize mm. from 2 HP? All right. Yeah, please. Go for it. Look at this asshole just asking I to mean, go I mean, technically first. I'm third. Because <laughs> Kestrel's already went, right? He gave up his turn. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, you can't prove that, though. <laughs> where, where, where did I start my turn? My All I saw was Kestrel run there, towards Comet there. and then a ramming speed ship blasting off. Uh, <laughs> like a little totally got team rocketed. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a little twinkle in the distance as it goes out <laughs> of sight. That's what I wanted to do. Actually, it does go out of sensors, too. Because you're kind of in a almost like a fog bank of sensors, you're long distance tracking is gone once the claustrosity and that ship are out of like this map you have no idea what uh, their status i is accidentally <laughs> clicked cooling but i'm actually restoring my hp i'm fixing um i'm fixing it in the sheet so it should be correct okay uh let's see uh yeah that's all i can really do right now All right, that's Orion. Let's go back to the other team. Uh, I am going to activate <coughs> the other fraud. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Uh, it is going to target Kestrel. Uh, Kestrel, it is going to warp your sensors. Okay, probably succeed. Uh, a 25 versus your E defense uh, will cause right. you to take two heat. Okay. Uh, that, that, uh, okay. Well, that uh, causes me to overheat. All right. Oh, wow, <clears> really? Oh, yeah. Uh, and What's then... your, oh, I guess I got to check the sheet. It's within heat caps, so I have to be. Well, I'm at five. Wait. Right, because yeah, we right. house rule how heat and uh, HP work, so you're going to have to set Got yourself it. one over and then set okay. yourself back to zero after you hit it. Uh, destabilize power plant. The power plant becomes unstable, beginning to eject uh, jets of plasma. My mech becomes exposed, taking double damage until the status is cleared. Oof. Okay. All right, and then, yeah, you can set yourself back down to zero heat. Also, uh, Chimera, yep. I think you carried over your one heat. You should be I down did. to zero heat. Oh, we, we cleared that? Okay. Yes. Yeah, we, we treat it the same as HP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine with that. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, it is going to lock on to you, Kestrel. Uh, all right, Comet or Chimera. I'm just going to be um, clearing I mean, my impairment, you can I guess. Impairment okay. just I'll gives you uh, difficulty. That's all it does. Yeah, but I already have to. I already have everything has soft cover already, so I'll get double difficulty to attack anything. Okay. Are you I mean are you going to stabilize? What are you going to do? Uh. I mean, it's not okay. like you get any you know penalties for attacking you with double difficulty. That's true. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. Um, I might attack the fraud in front of me, actually. Yeah, let me do that. If, if, if it's all right, Todd, unless there's something you want to do. Go for it. Okay, Chimera is going to rush the fraud that isn't invisible. So the one, uh, the one I just moved up to. Yep. And and I'm going to bust out the um the drill and then. First attack of the round gives me accuracy 
it has stabling hard points that gives me second accuracy, so that should negate the two difficulties I've got. Yeah. It does, right? So I I've done the math. The math checks out. And uh let's see, no accuracy. All right, here goes. Oh my god, these rolls. An eight will miss its evasion. Wait, Todd, what was your um, leadership dice again? I keep forgetting what it was for. It was um, doing damage, right? Damage. Okay. You can add it to damage if you want. Oh shit, that's useless here then. Um, yeah. Bad rolls. I, I told you originally to use it against... <laughs> to break uh, out or something like that, yeah. Yeah, an yeah. infringement, so... Um, oh yeah. well. All right, okay, is that well, you, Chimera? I, yeah, no damage, no nothing. Um, I'm done. All right, you'll lose the impaired and the soft cover, uh, the warped sensors. Right. Uh, oh, I'm clean as start. you act, that fraud also will activate his blip in response to your action since he didn't die. I was prepping for him to die, by the oh, way, really? when yeah. you came at him with the <laughs> combat drill. Since he didn't die, he will activate blip. Uh... Uh, it is going to teleport <clears throat> his infringement that is invisible, that he's granting his invisibility to, closer to Comet and Kestrel. Okay. And then that's the one I'm activating. Uh, that invisible infringement is going to charge towards Comet and Kestrel. Uh, it is going to... Both of you have lock on. That's nice. Um, I don't think there's any way of him knowing, Comet, that you're an E-Defense Beast, so he is going to try to use Follower Count on you. Okay. You can try. Yeah, not even close. Um, yes. so, uh, he doesn't get you with Follower Count, but he is going to try and shoot you with his dual shotguns, and he is going to try and consume that lock-on to do so. Okay, well, that might hurt. <laughs> uh, who? Miss. And then next one is just going to be a straight up miss. Okay, two misses. Oh, nice. Wow, you should, I feel lucky. You should, uh, you yeah, should feel lucky. On too. Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> wow. Comet, you're up. All right. Uh, so that fraud that Chimera just attacked, that's the only one I haven't jammed. I think uh, that is the only fraud you haven't jammed. Yeah. The guy okay. who just attacked Let's... you haven't you haven't done that to either. In... Yeah. The infringement with. Um, all right. I'm going to jam uh, that fraud. Uh, you're a fraud. And. Uh, yeah. And let's let's see. I'll, I'll con it has lock on. It looks like it right? does. So I'll consume that lock on. All right. Um, so let's roll that up. Give me a second here. My boundary window's being weird. Okay, got it. Um, zoom lock on. I rolled a 26. Wow. Um, I don't know what crit does in this circumstance. Um, uh, uh, nothing. Chimera, <laughs> you are going to take two energy damage, FYI. Um, because when I do, when it ejects the power cords, you know, there's, there's like an energy burst, uh, in a, the immediate area. So you're going to take a little damage. Um, all right. So it's jammed. I consume the lock on so it can choose to take in addition to that a two heat or a two heat and be moved or four heat. It will allow you to move it. All right, so I don't, I don't, I don't think moving it really matters too much. But I'll move it three feet uh, to the west. Okay. Out of the control zone. It's ours. <laughs> yeah. But technically, it's still theirs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, and that was only one action, so I'm going to put lock-on on it again. You got it. 
Uh, I'm not going to move. I'll, and I'll get a free lock on. Although, is there anything I haven't locked on on this Did you map? use the lock on with that? I did. I consumed a lock on. Okay. It already had a lock on. Um, so I'm just putting it back. Yeah. You got it. Um, all right. Yeah. And, and that's it for me. I'll go invisible. You go invisibility. All righty. All right. So then I will activate the final infringement. Uh, it is going to lock on to you, Kestrel. Uh, not lock on. I'm already on. locked on. Yeah, no, not lock on is what I meant. It's going to target you, Kestrel, mm -hmm. uh, and is going to try to put follower count on you, which is a tech attack. Yeah. Uh, it did consume your lock on to do so, but it does hit your E defense, uh, giving it follower count against you. Uh, which means it gains accuracy on its hits versus you. Uh, and then it gets to move three towards you as a free action. Which it will take the opportunity to do so. Uh, then it's going to try and get you with its dual shotguns. So, super miss. Uh, super miss. All right. <coughs> So attack misses on me. I'm uh, I'm gonna use my ace to move two spaces in any direction that I would like. Yeah, go for it. Uh, just move up there. No, that's fine. All right, that is the end of the round. It is back to your team. <clears throat> um. I guess it doesn't really matter. I can go if we're top of the round, right? Go for it. All right. Um, yep. Well, I've had enough of this fraud, so. Yeah, Great. Lock uh, up. Start of the turn. I am in the danger zone. I gain resistance to heat. Uh, so let's start with uh barrage and we'll go here and go from here we'll start with the heavy pattern laser rifle uh i will consume the lock on and pff, i rolled a nine wow Ooh. uh so did you take three Jeez. heats but nowhere near it yeah yep. oh yeah because of uh resistance all right uh pff. all right well, we'll follow that up with uh, my integrated mount weapon and see if I can get higher than a nine. I crit. <laughs> Ooh, nice. All right. So that will deal seven, seven energy damage. Seven energy damage. Hold on. There's one thing I need to, to check out. Um... Okay, so the nuclear clav clavelier doesn't apply. All right, yep, seven energy damage. That is not enough to take it out, but it is looking very not good. You know what? They're probably going to uh, stress my reactor, so I'm just going to overcharge and purposefully overheat. <laughs> if I'm going to overheat, I'm going to do it on my <laughs> own terms. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you to it. Um, gotta respect that. You're at a I, 1d6 plus 4. I know, four but I'm also at 9 heat. heat. Now. So. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So. Oh no, I gained 7 heat. Oh no, I'm impaired. <laughs> Wait, how do you get yeah, 7 well, heat? Technically, from a, oh, I, I have four. resistance, okay. so it would actually be 4 heat. Um. So I overcharge, uh, I go down to three stress and zero heat. Um, I gain soft cover because of my vent heat. Um, I am no longer in the danger zone. Um, and 
we're just going to follow up with uh, my uh, heavy patterned laser rifle on... Nope. You got it. Hold a 15. Uh, yeah, you've destroyed, uh, um, Ox-1. Uh, how do you take him out? Uh, this, while I'm trying to, while, uh, um, I'm overheating because I decided to overcharge, Artemis takes over and says, I got this, Dine, and then just takes out the fraud with a well-timed shot. <laughs> And that removes him. From Either the I combat. was going to overheat or he was going to overheat me. <laughs> they were going to overheat you. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, man, and that was even with the disadvantage or uh, the um, difficulty. Okay. Oh, all that's right. All Anything I got. else, Orion? All right. Good turn. Uh, Good turn. Then uh what I am going to do is um uh Kestrel. Uh the infringement that is next to you is activating. Okay. Uh he does move one back. Uh you you have uh I believe the ability to do uh, Overwatch if you would like to take your reaction. <clears throat> is that how it works? Because my he range started, is three. He started a with movement it. within your threat. Okay, that that's how it works. Interesting. Um, yes, I actually have a question for you. Um, uh, can you pull up my CompCon file? I actually don't have access to it. I need to get it from you again. Okay. Since I reset my computer, um, that's where I was keeping track of my gunslinger dice uh, from last okay. time. Yeah, let me uh, pull up your there's active not a, mode. There's not a good place in Foundry to do it, so I don't know where that's at. Let's see. Uh, it says six on what I'm looking at. Okay, so I must have used it, um, or last time then, I guess. Yeah, it is possible. Uh, let's find a way for you to track it in Foundry. Uh, yeah. So, um, I I'll... thought I was at one and saving it, but... Uh, oh, well, you wouldn't have, would you have my, you wouldn't I might have not have the most complaint. updated version. Yeah, well, whatever. It, it is what it is. Okay, um, I will shoot, and it's it's a single shot, or is it a mount? What do you mean? Uh, for for like an opportunity, like an Overwatch. Uh, I think, is it a single gun? I think you get to do your fire plus auxiliary. It's not necessarily a, a mount. It's because it's a their CQB, their uh, ox weapons. So I think I do think you get to fire both. I'll double check Overwatch. Mm -hmm. um, a hostile character starts any movement uh, inside of your weapon's threat. Immediately use that weapon to skirmish. And then as part of your rules, when you skirmish with one of those ox weapons, you get to use the other ox weapon on the mount with it. OK, it's just um, part of the rules for skirmishing. And when I skirmish with the ox, I think I can use my integrated too, right? Uh, I think once, that's part of once, the skirm once per round. Right, which I haven't. Which yet. you haven't yet. Exactly. I'm just saying you wouldn't okay. be able to use it on your turn if you use it now. OK, that's fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't know the rules. All right. Well, then I will shoot a pistol, which is three pistols. <laughs> yeah. Pistol. And pistol. Um, I have base accuracy because he's within range. All my auxiliaries just get one accuracy. That's why they all have accuracy. 21, 22, and 16. Uh, <laughs> those all hit. Um, he does um, have armor. Um, so those will be uh, 2, 2, and 2. 
for a total of six. Uh, that works for me. Yeah, uh, that's a lot of damage. All right. And then my gunslinger die, dice will go down by three. So nice. three, three, three out of six. Uh, we might want to just. Is there a way to put that on? I don't know if there's like yeah, a tracking oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. There, just... there is. Uh, go into your character. Click on Steve, mm -hmm. not Tweety Bird. Mm -hmm. There's a thing for keeping track of gunslinger die specifically. There's already a thing under counters under pilot tactical. Oh, oh, there it is. And I'm at three out of six. OK, so that'll put me to one. All right. There we go. <clears throat> cool. All right. Uh, the, it's still the infringement's turn. He took a walloping, um, but that is OK. Uh, he is going to lock on to you. As his first quick action, and then he's going to follow it by hitting you with his dual shotguns. OK. Ooh, OK. Um, you are still exposed, so that would be 12 damage. Uh, fun, Ouch. fun. Um, hey, I, I'll use my reaction for this. Um, ah, right. If you're going to teleport away, damage. I still need to roll this other one. So hold on. OK, the okay. other one misses. But yes, you can do your thing now. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, so let me roll up that 1d6. Because the wording on the dual shotgun is you make both attacks at once. So they both happen regardless sure. of if he moves. Correct. Makes sense. So you do get um, resistance on this. All right. Yeah. And uh, tactical simulation, you are actually <coughs> somewhere else. Three spaces away. So uh, only six damage then, Kestrel. Okay. Back down um, to the I'll original move. amount of damage you should have taken. <laughs> I'll move over <laughs> here. And I'm, I'm sorry to ask this again, uh, but it's one reaction per turn. No, no, you can yes. take you can take uh, reactions, it's, but they have to be different reactions. Cool. Uh, I was hit with a ranged attack. I'm going to immediately attack with an auxiliary ranged weapon because he is within range. Yes, it's return it. fire from a gunslinger train. Um, uh, I do want to just make sure because we haven't played in a while. Reactions, uh, especially such as blah, blah, blah. <coughs> I believe that's the, the case, because I always remember being surprised that you can do so many reactions as opposed to D&D, &D, where you just get like, oh, the here, one. Here, here's yeah. why. Here's why it works this way. You can take as many reactions during a round as you want, as long as they're different reactions. But you can only yeah. take one reaction per turn. Oh, OK, so I can't. It's still the it's infringement's turn. On this infringement's turn, you've already done one reaction. OK, OK, oh, which cool. was your overwatch. All right. That, it is what it is. That's fine. Then yeah. uh, then I take six damage and I will be at 11 out of 17. It's a bit first bit of damage I took. So. All right. Chimera, Kestrel or Comet. Um, to go. Let's, Ryan, you look roaring to go there, measuring things out. Uh, uh, I could it, go to it's up. It's up to you guys, I guess. But. Um. I have no strong desire to go first. I mean, I can. Um, Everything's pretty much locked on. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll just go. Um, go for it. Uh, I'll do my usual MO, which is just jamming as many things as I can. So I'm going to jam the infringement uh, uh, ship that's that's uh, right next to me. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, Let's let's do it. Burp. Target you. Roll it up. And what did I get? I got a seven. But apparently that's a hit. That is a hit. Okay. Can he fail that? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, I guess his evasion's I, low. Yeah, I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> two plus five. Um, all right. Uh, cool. So he's he's jammed, um, and he takes two heat. We should probably find a way to track um, who's been getting jammed. I did. We yeah, we, we're using we are, the engagement yeah. symbol just because yeah. it can only be used once per um, scene on each character. I've That's why pretty I was... much. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we've been doing it. I think that that was the last guy I That's had eligible. jammed. That's that still is correct. Alive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, cool. All right, and uh, I'll I'll put lock on on him too. You got it, and that's it for me.
All right. Oof. Hoofa doofa. Uh, I'm going to activate the fraud. I can still move. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, Orion, it is going to warp your sensors. Like I said. Holy shit. Nope, it misses. Wow. Finally rolled bad enough to not work. I mean, that would have hit me, even missed my actual evasion. Uh, and then I am going to have this interceptor, or not this interceptor, the interceptor is dead. The uh, fraud it is going to move. Five. And then it's going to activate glitch scanners. Uh, and it's stuff is incredibly far, so yeah, they're still within range. Uh, he is going to move uh, the infringement that's already moved this turn. And itself. Chimera Orchestral. Uh, you want to go? It's okay. Yeah, you can. yeah I'm just thinking. Uh, I was going to go after the fraud, but now that the fraud is way out of range, I'm like, hmm, maybe focus on something else. Um, I guess I'll go after the infringement that's in sight of me, so it would be... Yeah, I can't, I, I can't go 17 in one turn. Um, so I'll go after the infringement that's in sight, this guy right here. Um, Chimera is basically going to rush toward it, and then, you know what, I got this drill, there's no reason for me not to use it. Um, so, it, ha it has a lock-on, um, I already have two accuracy for the drill, I almost want to leave it there just for someone else to follow up on him, I don't know, maybe, uh, Kestrel, you can do that on your turn. So, um, yeah, gonna drill. Drill, baby, drill. Two accuracy, no difficulty, roll. Fourteen. It does eight damage, because I got an overkill on it. All right, so you'll take one heat. Nice. Yep. Uh, How much 18. damage? Eighteen. Eighteen? Uh, I'm like, 18. wait. Eighteen, I'm sorry, there's, I there's math There's whole wrong. decimal yeah. there missing. I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, you destroy it, Chimera. How do you do yeah. so? I mean, I, I'm just running. I don't stop. I keep drilling, and I just go straight to room, like paper. All right, Chimera, anything else? I've exhausted my um, ability to do things, so that's it for me. All right, this infringement loses its jams. <laughs> and moves adjacent to Comet. Hi, friend. I believe it's my turn. No? Uh, it is. Cool. Uh, I'm going to move and boost 16. Uh, I, I love that I can do that. Uh, Dre, you are fast. Where were you when you boosted? Uh... Uh, it doesn't matter. You would have been wide to the of sight. Right. <laughs> yeah, it, you uh, a boost is still within sight of him, so he's going to activate blip in reaction to an action, uh, and he is going to move a further five spaces as he sees you okay, coming so towards that you. That happened here. As soon as he sees you boost, uh, he in reaction to the boost activates blip. Hmm. Um, that's still four away. Well, that's annoying. You thought he was closer than he was because he's messing with your sensors. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I can't even shoot at things outside of range, can I? No. It's not like a difficulty or anything. Uh, 
range is too low on that. So, uh, all right, well, stick you need with to the get original. like a mortar to attach to your back or something. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else I can do? He's within that six, but five is one. Um, you know what? I don't like this guy, and that's a one in six chance. I'm gonna overcharge. Okay. Uh, it's a four. All right, so four out of five heat. Get that in a second. Uh, I'm going to boost again. Mm -hmm. Cutting him off and then using my last quick action to uh, I kill with my heart. I'm going to use my gunslinger dice <clears throat> and uh, attack with my hand cannon on him. Right. He is invisible. Okay. So you might want to target him before you. Yeah. So yeah, it'll yeah, yeah. roll the thing for you. Uh... It's accurate. I actually have two accuracy. And two different talents, I noticed while I was re-looking through this. So far, the first one uh, misses. Yep, uh, miss the because evade. of the invisibility. Yep. Yep. Now for the second one. He has lock on? No, he doesn't. Well, lock uh, on he does not. No. Invisibility is just a 50-50, right? It is, yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just wondering anyways. Okay, well... Uh, both of them miss. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, you fire it. twice at the fraud. Um, it will be next round. Uh, the opponents uh, get to activate first. Without consulting with his teammate, Ox 2 is going to activate automatically. Um, and uh, you are no longer exposed, by the way. Just try to take that off of you. Oh, very good. Um, it is going to use. Oop. It is going to use warp sensors on you. Mm, it is going to lock on, and then it is going to warp sensors on you. Uh, crit, so you will take two heat. Uh, okay, uh, that will put me over, and let me see if I can do anything after this, because I got a structure here. Or uh, stress, but yeah. Or stress, yeah, yeah. Uh, meltdown. Uh, my mech is exposed oh. on a failure. It suffers a reactor meltdown of 1d6 turns. Reactor meltdown will be prevented by uh, retrying an engineering check as a full action. Ooh, that is bad. You are, your reactor is starting to melt down. I am going to roll um, for you. Mm -hmm. uh, a 1d6 to determine how long until your suit's going to explode. Oh boy. You have three rounds. Okay. You have oh. three rounds to fix <clears throat> it or the mech explodes. Very good. Uh, I'm then going to trigger my reaction to return fire. All right. It's hit with a ranged attack, right? Uh, no, this is a That's tech a attack. Oh, okay. Um, there are, there are melee attacks, ranged attacks, and tech attacks. So there are three yeah. types of attacks in this game. I hate tech attacks. They, yeah. Yeah, I know. Who uses tech attacks? Only losers <laughs> use tech <laughs> attacks. Yeah, yeah. Well, then, well that's, that's, that's it then. I can't do anything else, so. All right. Uh, after you begin to melt down, uh, you do go back down to zero heat. And I'll change that on your sheet since I already have it pulled up. Um, it is going to move five. <laughs> All right, Kestrel, Chimera, Comet, or Orion. Um, well. Oh, he moved, right? Yes. Within he did. my range, so I can overwatch him, right? Uh, I believe so. Didn't did you already did you already use a reaction? Nope. Then no. I, I couldn't. It wasn't okay. a, it wasn't a ranged attack? Oh yeah, you're right. Then yeah, it's free to use for Overwatch. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Is he invisible for this still? Yes. Yep. He is. He is just, consistently invisible. He is just always invisible unless he gives hey, it to an ally. This hits, which will consume my gunslinger dice for an additional 2d6. Ooh, that could be important. 
Oh. For eight additional damage. I believe that's right. Let me double check. Uh, yep, 2d6 armor piercing. 2d6 armor piercing. Well, he doesn't have any armor, but with the eight plus one, you've done nine damage. Um, as it, it like, is retreating from you, Kestrel, it is... It is like you watch as uh, your bullet like takes out like a whole side of its various flotation like uh, devices that it has on it and the the things that conduct charge through its like outer Mm -hmm. atmosphere. It is still moving, but barely. Cool. I'm going to use my other pistol shot. Uh, That misses and then the integrated. That misses. Cool. (sighs) Okay. Fuck my life. All right, but it is still your guys' activation. Chimera, Kestrel, Comet, or Orion can go. Um, I mean, it's already uh, locked on. Do you just want me to try and fire at the thing in front of you? Uh, sure. Okay. Do it. Uh, yeah. All right. It's not very often that I get to fire the ZF4 without my core power, <laughs> but... <laughs> Remember, you also have impaired. Uh... Sorry, quick question. Does reliable hit if invisibility triggers? No. Okay. I don't wait. I will double check. Seems like it would, but I don't. What do I know? <laughs> reliable. It always does X damage, even if it misses its target. Is invisible considered a miss? I'll find out. Because that would be your two hand cannons. That would be four additional damage. That might still... Yeah. Well, do the hand cannons have reliable? Uh, The hand cannons have reliable. Well, I I shot three pistol shots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it would be four additional damage total. Uh, I'm looking too. Seems like it uh, seems like it does damage. the damage. So yeah. Kestrel, in that mm-hmm. case, when you dealt the nine damage, that would have killed him. Oh, sick! Because he would have been three. He would have been two lower than he was mm-hmm. when he took the nine damage. So Kestrel, okay. how does your "I kill with my heart" destroy the f- retreating fraud? Um, as I get, like, into the meltdown thing, I just, like, flick off the sensors that are beeping like crazy and then just take one good shot at where it came from. Just, like, that that arm extended pistol out and then just, it just shoots and goes right through it, exploding it. And it is gone. Uh, all right. Uh, I got impaired, accurate, plus consume walk on. And this is three charges. I crit. <laughs> hey! <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, you're going to be like angry about oh, this, Orion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, it had one HP left. <laughs> okay. You could have dead. thrown a feather at him. <laughs> But it exploded. <laughs> okay. But this, this makes him not exist. Um, let, let me just check something here. But this makes me happy because he doesn't just he does. die; he vaporizes. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is gone. He is super, Comet super, just super watches, gone. Comet just watches a laser like completely obliterate the thing standing in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was going to suggest maybe we should say one of these guys and interrogate <laughs> later, but um, yeah, fat uh, chance of that. Here's the thing, because these things kind of happen at the same time as each other. So I want to tell you exactly when this happens, because it's it's partially important. Um, as soon as Kestrel kills the retreating fraud, the weird haze that you had over the entire area that made you unable to contact anyone fades and uh all four of you get about 10 minutes worth of 
uh, frantic and uh, scared communications all come in all at the same time, all overlapping with each other. You know how like, you know, sometimes like weird vo- like voice or sound things will get almost queued up, but then they all play at the same time. That is what happens as soon as this drops, as all four of you get maybe like 20 messages all coming from uh, okay. Jessica. But you can't make sense of any of them because they all play at the exact same time as each other. So it's just Jessica talking 20 times to all of you. <sighs> probably guess the general gist <laughs> of what she's saying you hear what <laughs> there's a lot of questioning you hear a lot of what's yeah. and where and going and watch out but like like i said all the words are playing over each other it almost sounds like digital noise by the time all 20 of these tracks are overlaid with each uh, other i'm going to that was one action. I'm just going to say, as the rest of my turn, can I just have Caster, can you try and separate these so we can figure out what she's saying? Uh, yeah, that'll just take some time, <laughs> is what Caster says. He starts working on a sound model. <laughs> yeah. that, that's my, that's going to be the rest of my turn, since one only took one shot. <laughs> All right. The only thing else that's pressing right now is we need to see if Kestrel stops his mech from exploding. Um, I sure hope so. Oh, yeah. You want to yeah, roll that engineering important. check for me, Kestrel? Yeah. Do you believe in You do. It's a natural 20? You natural 20. <laughs> I, w- I would like a look in the cockpit of what you're doing when this happens. Duct tape. Um, oh, uh, um, I you, would you say. Ignore that- all the klaxons. <laughs> that are going off in your mech to kill that guy, then as you hear all these sounds overlaid coming in your system, you realize some weird thing is happening, your last enemies are dead, you still have a mech that's about to explode. What do you do to stop it? Uh, he, he just stops and, like, gets inundated with noise and everything all at once and just takes a deep breath and then it's like, not now, I'm busy. Uh, and then is like flipping a few switches, shunting heat where he needs to, shutting down systems as quick as he can, um, and just just like gets it under control just right away, um, and then responds it, uh, right after he just opens up a channel and goes, "Yeah, sorry, Jessica, was a little busy. What's going on?" <laughs> and with that, the combat is over. There are no enemies left on the map, but neither still are there any allies on the map. All are dead or retreated. Um, Jessica comes on the line uh, to all of you now that the channel's open again, and you just hear go, what happened? I, I lost track of all of you. I, I tried to tell you there were incoming signals, but you never responded. Well, we fought the signals. Did you did you happen to see a signal fly off the fly off the map at light speed? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I saw a ship come from your direction. Yeah, we. Uh, it was insane. Uh, just a flotilla of these tiny ships, all that looked you know strapped to the gills with ordnance, started flying in your genera- in your general direction. I I tried to warn you, but nothing was going through. We we retreated to a safe distance so they wouldn't come after the DBC. Oh, that was smart. Yeah, they got some sort of blocking or something going on. Like, we were, our um, sensors were going haywire at times. Like, they were giving us misleading information. Like, it's all forms of batshit. Is everyone okay? Uh, we're okay. Some of, some of the guards are dead. The rest fled and didn't bother to help us. So we don't know whether they were in on it or just tactical retreat Uh, well maybe you better all get back to the dbc asap whatever's going on i don't think we want to be around here for much longer i'm more interested in the other platforms do you have any sensors on them is the same thing happening there um other platforms you mean like other defense platforms i assume the other lancer pilots had something similar going Uh, on right now I mean, there are other defense platforms within the DBC's range. Uh, nothing seems to be happening in any of them. I don't, I don't think all the trials were happening at the same time either. 
I, I don't I don't know that, I guess. So I'm sure. That, yeah. I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of defense platforms. It's possible they just chose ones further away from each other. <sighs> well, let's get back to the uh, DBC yeah, and figure out uh, next steps. Hey, uh, Bob, as we're heading back, can I do a quick like uh, search to see if there's any black boxes from the mechs we destroyed to see if there's anything worth grabbing? Um, so... Uh, make me a pilot check or a... Is there even something you can do with your mechs? Because technically you're doing this in your mech. What are your... Well, I mean... Um, I think I can recognize a cockpit. Agility um, systems. Yes, but you would need to find them. Yeah. You would need to find a working thing. I would say you can make a systems check with your mech to see if you are able to detect anything in the if debris. If if he okay. tell if Chimera tells us about this, can I have give him accuracy yeah, by that. having Artemis and Caster provide extra scanning power, basically? Sure. Okay, I have no modifier to systems, but um, I'll get that accuracy yeah. from uh, Dine. Thank you. Yep. Nine. No. Not good roll. Unfortunate. Uh, it seems like that m most of the infringements were completely decimated, and um, it seems like the frauds were specifically set up to leave no trace. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> what I figured would happen, but I, I you know, worth a shot. Uh, okay. I can just imagine, imagine Artemis being really proud because two of the three infringements were killed by me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, also, uh, what what happened forget, to Astro? I forget everyone's <laughs> names. Uh, <laughs> who who is our 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 contact inside contact on the console? What's her name again? You mean the uh, the person running the contest, or are you talking about the um, council member? The council member. Ah, uh, it. I, I, it's been a, uh, been epic? a while since. Yeah, epic. Thank you. Um, we're, if possible, I'd like to get in touch with epic as soon as we get back on the DBC, uh, and see if she knows anything else about what's going on here. Uh, be careful not to incriminate her in some way if you're doing that. Uh, only, I'll only reach out if I feel confident I could reach her on an encrypted channel. Uh, so you try is what I'm getting from this to reach out to her uh, on what, an encrypted once channel. Once I get back, once I get back on the DBC, uh, not from my Mac. Okay. Uh, you guys get back to the DBC. Um, you get your mechs loaded in. As you arrive, uh, Curry uh, comes up to meet you all uh, and looks at your mech and goes, what happened out there? I thought this was supposed to be a training exercise. Yeah, well. well it quickly became <clears throat> a real-life scenario. Uh, looks like some uh, corporate... Uh, rebels uh, use this opportunity to stage a surprise attack. Um, yeah, they had and some weird high tech, uh, some alien tech going on, and made it um, possible to reach us even. Well, uh, I mean, well, they asked us to see if we could find any uh, weaknesses in their security. The fact that their security retreated almost as soon as we got attacked is probably a weakness. Yeah, maybe we should report that. <laughs> Bob, do do I recognize some of the tech that was used there? Yes. Okay. Do you tell oh. us this? Um, I'm I'm sorry. What was that, Chuck? <laughs> Did you say something? <laughs> oh, my mistake. You know, it was just a uh, swamp gas. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, you better stop eating I'll... so much swamp. <laughs> it's so good, though. I'll say they had some weird machine uh, with all these like construction claws that would uh, grab the me different uh, mechs and crush them. Um, it was strange when I tried to hack it, I couldn't get a sense of how it was even being controlled. Oh, that's weird. Uh, anything that moves has got to be controlled by something, right? Organic exactly. or mechanic? 
exactly. And uh, it it just didn't make any sense. I, uh, I'd have to do further analysis, but uh, Kestrel uh, kind of sent it packing, which, you know, I think that's for the better. You know, packing, more like launched it off into deep space. Yeah, send it packing. <laughs> You know, either way, vacation. it's not our problem anymore. <laughs> we'll never um, see it again. But everything okay here? I, I, I heard Jessica say you moved out of the danger zone, which is good. Um, anything else weird happening on board? Uh, I mean, no. We uh, Jess said she was moving us away because a big... Uh, squadron uh some sort of merchant flotilla was moving by but i didn't get a sense of what they were doing oh and once they once they got out by where you all were we we stopped being able to detect anything that was happening out there oh well, yeah they I were delivering a payload of explosives on top of us well what happened to the platform it's there in pieces uh, it's damaged but still Still there, more or less. He like a dime. Wipes his like he takes his hat off, does the thing the, the, the like he does he does yeah. the the blue collar fidget you know where he like <laughs> he takes off his hat, wipes his brow, stands with like <laughs> one hand on the hip, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what a man! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Dine, how's Artemis doing? Is is she still nervous about? an impending attack or I don't, is, have things leveled off I don't now? know uh, I don't know how far in the future she has um, predicted although she was worried about that um, claw huh well I'll she, she knew it was coming uh, she knew something but something was coming but not what that something was I'm not sure anyone could have predicted the claw um, I will talk with her after I kind of look up at the mechs. We get these fixed up. Hopefully this is over, but I doubt it, and I want to get on top of that. That sounds good to me. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to see if I can get in contact with Ethic. Um, you, sure, but... you sure that's a good idea? I mean... Well, we're, we're, uh, we're if, supposed to be not really in contact once the, the contest begins. Um, if I mean, if I, I may, I would say the contest rules are uh, of less importance now. Yeah, but I mean, like, what what are you gonna say? Um, hey, we just got attacked by some weird things. FX is gonna say, yeah, they're weird, and then what? Like, what comes? Like, does this need to be addressed if, now? We're we're out of danger. If I may, Astro, I would recommend. Before contacting Ethic, uh, maybe contacting um, whom probably who is it? It's gonna be Losamar, who whomever is directing yeah, this first. Say. See what their side is, and then make a decision on whether you want to contact Ethic directly. I mean, if anything, Ethic's probably gonna reach out to us first. So let's go for the okay, proper channels let's, first. Uh, let's see. What Losamar has to say, because because she, she was the don't one forget, who is who's coordinating still... with us for this, right, Bob? Yeah, yeah, uh, that is correct. Losamar is the one who gave you your marching orders to attack, okay. well, to quote unquote attack this defense platform, um, and then defend so... the defense platform. <laughs> okay, well, if, if yeah, we were attacking, then we that. did quite well, actually. <laughs> you see, we let we we took it to pe put it in pieces exactly. We we need a shot That's of you saying that, point. and then there's like a window to the platform as it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, remember we're still undercover. We 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 should not blow it unless it's absolutely necessary, and I don't think this calls for it. I think, I think. Well, I mean, I disagree with you there. I think this absolutely calls for a debriefing with Epic to figure out our next move. But I'll. <laughs> Get in touch with Losamar first, and we can go from there. Um, I'll go to the the um, 
the cockpit or the bridge um and and place try to place a call to Losamar. Uh Losamar picks up fairly quickly uh on the video call. Uh you see her there, she looks at you and goes uh Xander. Um she looks a little awkward uh as you get her on the line. She goes uh Xander, we need you to come back uh to uh contest uh main um evaluation hall um the counselors uh want to talk to you are you aware of what happened during our contest uh trial just now uh is there anything you want to report uh only that we were attacked by rebel forces and a giant claw machine she nods uh is that part of the trial i mean i'm not at liberty to talk about this right now the um council members uh want to talk with you um okay uh we will head back to the station then report back to the station as soon as is possible all right i'll close the connection say well that was weird are we um, there? Was that like open? Yeah, yeah it was open. So if okay. you you want to say you're listening to it, you, can you know what? The more I think about it, I'm, we shouldn't have been surprised. I mean, they've been trying to downplay this whole rebel thing as much as possible. So I imagine we're probably not going to hear much about it till we're. I mean, behind true, closed doors. But it's not like they can sweep this under the rug with us. We oh were no, there. You're, you're you're right. But also remember, we're, we're probably try- hoping to buy our silence. And and we'll let them do it because the job is to get hired by them, not not to tell them why they're dumbasses. They could expect us as rebels too, you know. True. Sure. I mean, we just killed a bunch of rebels, so that should be a point in our favor. Uh, maybe I should go report to the council members alone, just in case. Uh, maybe the rest of you should stay on the ship. Makes you say that. I don't like the idea of you going alone. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think I think it's gonna look suspicious if we don't all go. I, I'm not saying all of us go either, but oh, look, I'll I'll go with you. Okay, Jess, who's okay. here in the in the bridge sure with you all, kind of in the operator station, goes. Well, I mean, we need this, and if this doesn't work out, then we need to leave maybe we should start thinking about what our plans are if things go sideways yeah i mean that's right i i don't know what way this this uh this debriefing is gonna go uh losamar wasn't very uh enlightening about that and so we should probably prep for quick getaway well if uh steve is gonna go with um astro chimera stay with me and help me uh get the mechs back up to tip top shape that way in case something does go wrong we have options jessica good point kind of like comes up to you steve uh and just kind of like gets close and goes I don't know if I like the idea of you getting in on this. Well, I don't have uh, a lot of options here. We need to stay close to them, and I'm not sure what's going to happen if Astro goes alone. Just stay safe. I'll just nod. I expect you guys to bail us out if something happens. My mech's not in great condition anyways, so... I've got a big enough gun. I got a drill. I'm sure we can figure something out. All right. So, uh, you're going to take the DBC back to um, the... uh, uh, Let's see... Uh, I think it's 128 is the docking station. 
Uh, yeah, you guys head back to. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Project Rebirth, Residential Industrial Module. Yeah, Dock Module 126, Hangar D8, uh, which is where the hangar you were originally assigned. You were reassigned to a different hangar, but this is still where they want you to go to come to, like, the main assembly hall. Um, okay. As you get there, um, you will see that there is already the leaderboard set up. You know, like the leaderboard that you guys have been seeing after every set of trials yeah. has been going off. Mm -hmm. um, there are seven teams on there um, because, you know, Prisma Low had withdrawn uh, after the last trial. Um, but two of the teams on the board have their names crossed out. Uh, uh. The Murder of Crows is crossed out. And Dire Scholars is crossed out. Next to the murder of crows, uh, this, it, it seems to be showing the points for this security exercise. It says invalidated. Um, excuse me. What? You the, can't the, expect them to have scored that correctly when with what happened. Uh, the dire scholars, by the way, are crossed out, but there is not anything written next to theirs. I... I, I would have thought maybe we'd get extra points for saving their asses. I imagine if that's the case, then we're going to have to talk to some people about that. But as far as traditional scoring goes, they aren't going to put it up on a scoreboard. Um, well, to be honest, I wasn't expecting business as usual uh, with the scoring and everything when we came back. I would have thought they were scrambling and... and not worrying about the contest at this point. Clearly that's not the case. We made a good enough impression on the other things, and we defended the platform enough. We'll see what they have to say. Uh, Lo yeah. Samar comes into the auditorium as you guys are, like, discussing this, and she'll go, ah, uh, just the two of you. Uh, there um, were repairs that needed to be done on our mechs. Hmm. Uh... I guess that is reasonable. Um, you'll have to come with me. Okay, lead the way. Um, she leads you uh, back towards that residential module that you were all staying in, residential module 82. And remember how the top couple of floors were off limits to you guys? They were the offices. Remember there was like A, B, C, D, and then offices at the top of the elevator? Um, she takes you guys into the elevator and then hits the button for the offices and then scans some sort of security card on the elevator that unlocks that floor as a floor you, they can go to. Um, okay. And then the elevator starts ascending. She is awkwardly silent in the elevator with you as you all are standing there. Uh, do they expect us then? Oh, yes. They told me to show you right in. That's not what I mean. She raises expect, one eyebrow. Do they expect that we were part of it? I think there's a concern that um, there was some involvement of various parties in the things that have happened. Well, That's fair surely enough. our actions on the battlefield would alleviate those concerns. But I suppose I'll save that for the other council members. I don't imagine their sensors got through very well, boss. She... Yeah, remember, it wasn't until the end of the battle that the sensor cloud even came down, and you guys were just standing yeah. on a destroyed platform. I, I'm not there, but also I want to mention that some security people did leave the area. Uh-huh. Yep, I know. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna talk about that. Um, sure. She lets this slip. You both catch this. Because she could have just stopped talking here. Um, but she says... Mm. there's some worries about things not just on the battlefield. And the elevator door opens, and she walks out. I'll just I'll give follow. Astro a look. <laughs> yeah, I'll return the look like, the fuck does that mean? Um, and uh, I'll, I'll follow after her. She leads you into 
um, a conference room. Um, it is probably the conference room that you all overheard when you were listening in on them discussing things before. And based on what it looks like in here, you guess also that this is the place they were transmitting from as they were watching your fight in the like arena fight against the drones. Like the way this room is set up seems to be kind of like the council's like base of operations for Project Rebirth, like their their kind of main meeting room. Um, you will notice that they're all kind of sitting on one side of the table um and then there are just four chairs set up on the other side of the table when you walk in um losamar comes in ahead of you and he goes well i uh brought them right up to you as you requested uh it seems that uh xander and steve are uh here to uh discuss uh with you uh please uh xander uh steve uh take a seat do you need any water I'm good, thanks. Steve? I'll take a cup. Sure, yeah. She will walk over, grab a pitcher from one of the ends of the table and a glass. Uh, she'll pour you a cup of water and place it in front of you. Um, she goes and sits at the end of the table. So she doesn't sit as the same side as them. She sits on like one of the two like short ends of the table. Uh, as you sit down, you see from left to right, all five of the council members are here. Um, and in order, uh, it is... Um, uh, Ethic is on the, uh, far left. It's Ethic, Opie, Doc, Nosla, and Grime, uh, who are just waiting for you as you come in, uh, seated at the table. Is Opie the guy that, um, the governor guy? No, Grime RK is okay. the governor. He's and on the he, far right. He, didn't he, like, sort of go, uh, AWOL? He um, has been saying a lot of shit about you guys over the last day or oh, two for some right, reason. Yeah. I do recall him doing that. All okay. of a sudden, his opinion of you seemed to flip suddenly. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, take a seat. Um, and I'll wait for them to talk first. Uh, they seem to, like, gather papers and stuff. Ethic uh, is Ugh. very is obviously trying very hard to not look too meaningfully at you all, but she's like looking yeah. through various reports while she waits for everyone to get settled. It's a strange award ceremony. I'll whisper over to uh, Astro, which I'm sure is enough that I, they hear. It was oh, like a totally. loud whisper. But. <laughs> uh, Opie, uh, who is kind of, you, I mean, a very forward person, um, they are the person representing Apogee Material Materiel. Um, kind of clears his throat. <clears throat> it seems your uh, final trial had some complications. Before we ask you a set of questions, uh, I'm sure you're aware uh, that the situation surrounding your trial was a little odd. Um, is there anything you would like to say up front? I'm not really sure, uh, what, what it is you need us to answer, but, um, I would expect that, uh, you'd be more concerned with your obvious lack in security that allowed this breach to happen in the first place. Nozla will say, yes, an obvious breach in security, like letting a bunch of mercenary pilots near our defense platforms. I told you they should not have been trusted, Opie. We're the only reasons that defense platform is still there. We noted that your own security forces uh, fled the scene, and it was up to us to defend the security platform. Which, by the way, we weren't uh, prepped for uh, live combat, so that took us by surprise. I'm guessing you haven't heard from that security detail that left. We will talk about every one of these things in due time. Uh, we do have a few things that we need to go over with you. Just before your mission to the security platform... Did you speak with any of the other contestants? Um, I don't 
believe so. Might have said hi to them in passing. I attempted morning. to reach out to one of the other teams, yes. Oh, you did. And what did you discuss with them? I... nothing. They didn't answer. They didn't answer. Interesting. Uh, Nosla, like, and Opie share a meaningful look with each other. I... I realize the gravity of the situation, which is why I'm being honest with you, but isn't intrigue and getting past these sorts of games part of the contest? Doc Grosser uh, can't help themselves, and they they like coughingly laugh a little bit when you say this. <laughs> oh, uh, if only that were. Uh, I'm sure some such mercenary tactics have served you well, but uh, well, uh, things are a little bit concerning in this case. I'm sure you understand. Uh, dreadful things have been done. What exactly is going on in the station? You're keeping a lot from us. Opie says, are you sure you don't want to rethink any of the answers you've currently given? Maybe tell us who you tried contacting? You already know. Ethic speaks up for the first time. Since we're dancing around it, I think I should be the one to tell you um, that there's currently an investigation undergoing to determine who killed the Dire Scholars. And that is where we're going to end the session. What? Why were they crossed out, guys? <laughs> think about it for a second. Uh, which group it was? Which group did we try to contact? The Dire Scholars. It was the Dire Scholars. It was the Dire Scholars. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Steve, Steve yeah. is Remember, pretty much exactly they what didn't said what answer. Happened. Right, they didn't. And we thought that was unusual. Well, we're going to find out what these people think happened and what you guys are going to say back uh, next session. Sounds All right. good. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. Well. We will see you all next time to see how Contest wraps up. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I bet they're going to give us a job. <laughs> <laughs>